take a break at the halfway mark and I drink some water and you should drink some water too. Um, just to make sure that we stay hydrated and also so that I can talk for the next 30 minutes. So we're gonna, um, everybody's gonna get a drink of water. The train is gonna go by and it is going to say hello to us if you can hear it. Hello train. Wow, he's really loud today. So it makes me think that there's somebody down there where he needs to cross. Okay. So do not forget to do your homework. Do not forget. So tonight's second half, this is the second half. Today is May the 16th. Um, and this is the second half of chat number 223. We are still talking about smart swaps. So two weeks ago, we talked about smart swaps and it was the salad edition. Um, I did not get to do any of the videos that I had hoped to do because the next day, Alyssa and I were eating the Trader Joe's version of baked Cheetos and I crunched down on one on this side and found an abscess tooth that I didn't know I had. So I spent that whole week babying my tooth and living off of applesauce and yogurt. So I pretty much just ate applesauce and yogurt that week. Didn't get to do any of my videos, but two weeks ago, it was a salad and fresh drink my water. So everybody stop and drink your water. And I'll let y'all are comment. So y'all are already doing your homework right now, talking about it. Okay. So the salad smart swaps. So we were talking about swapping out some things, you know, lowering the points or swapping out things that you don't care as much about so that you can have things that you do care about. So the first thing I'm going to do is hop off. I'm going to hop away for just a second. I've got to get something out of the freezer, but it's going to take it about 30 minutes to, to thaw. So I promise I will be right back. An hour was too long. 30 minutes is about right. Okay, so we're gonna let these two things start thawing. These two things. And then we're gonna get something in the air fryer before I start talking. So if you do not have an air fryer, and if you do not already know about my obsession with an air fryer, where you been? Okay, so I'm gonna take, this is an, a Simple Living Products air fryer. I'm gonna take an air fryer safe dish, which would just be anything you can put in your oven. So this one happens to just be, you know, a ceramic dish. You can use ramekins, you can use um, silicone baking cups. And what we're gonna get started, we're gonna talk about this one next to last or kinda in the middle. But what we're gonna get started is an apple. So I'm gonna use an apple core to get the center out. And I'm going to set this apple down in this um, air fryer safe dish. And I'm going to spritz it with just a little bit of nonstick spray. This is the Smart Balance nonstick spray. And I like it for things like this because the olive oil one, I don't, olive oil kind, I don't know. I just, I want some, um, I don't want olive oil on my sweet stuff. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Trivia Baking Blend. This recipe, the recipe for the apple is already on if you have an egg.com. So you can just go to if you have an egg.com and search air fryer baked apple and you will find that. Then we are going to pour about a tablespoon of water into the center. So it's been sprayed, the apple's been cored. It's been lightly sprayed with nonstick spray. I've added some water. I added some trivia, um, um, trivia uh, blend, baking blend, sorry. And I, I like the tri Trivia for this because it does have a little bit of real sugar in it. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of my new favorite granola, which is from Eat My Granola Now. And this is the vegan granola. Yum, yum, yum. So no added sugar in this. So this um, is available here at Casey Kitchen Center. And I know a lot of y'all are not in Knoxville, but if you're interested in that yogurt, just message me. And I'll let you know how, how you can get it because we can actually ship it to you. So this is about two tablespoons of that yogurt. And remember, the recipe is already on if you have an egg.com. Because I know I'm talking fast, but it's because the, the baked apple itself, and we're going to spritz that granola real quick. The baked apple itself is not the main part of what I'm talking about. We're just going to get it going. So we're going to put this in the air fryer on and since we have a simple living products air fryer oops we're gonna scoop did you see the resistance i met when i didn't scoop so you're gonna scoop it don't shove it in we're gonna push the center button 
change the temperature to 260, change the time to 20 minutes. Okay, and that's gonna go while we're talking about everything else. So the smart swaps that we were talking about today is all a mode. So it's all things all a mode on the smart swaps. And in case you weren't with us two weeks ago, again, smart swaps, what I call smart swaps, and I don't even know I called them that, but smart swaps to me are when I swap something out that I'm, you know, I mean, I like it, it's just okay, whatever, so that I can have something that I love, so that I can, I can have something that I absolutely love. So when I was growing up, my dad was out of town a lot. Um, he was a traveling salesman, he traveled for work, then when he started his own business, he had to travel even more. Um, and even when he was home, you know, you guessed it, he was working. So he worked all the time, all the time. Um, but about once a month, he would take us out for a special treat and uh, to make up for all that time, you know, that was spent away. And I'm sorry, Loretta is 260 for 20 minutes um, for the baked apple. And that is on if you have an egg.com. But to make up for all this time that he was gone and working, about once a month, he would take us to a local dive. And I'm gonna call it a dive just because I think it was in a trailer. I don't remember. I, I do remember it, but it was a teeny tiny, teeny tiny place, but it was called Taco Rancho. Has anybody ever been to a Taco Rancho or did we only have that here in Knoxville? And I'm pretty sure it was on Clinton Highway. Anyway, it was a long time ago. I'm 53, so that was like four, over 40 years ago. But um, we would go to Taco Rancho and then we would go to another little place that was in a trailer and it was a um, and it was an ice cream place, just a little local ice cream place. So he would take us for tacos and then we would go for ice cream. So we, you know, we would get one scoop of ice cream. So I would get a couple of tacos when we went to eat and then we would get one scoop of ice cream and the world was good. Okay, but, but at some point down the road though, at some point down the road, when he was less around and you know i was old enough to drive myself places and you know life was just different you know because i was growing up and getting older and whatever i started using ice cream as a feel-good getaway so i don't know if you i don't know if you can relate to that or not but i started using it as a feel-good getaway and the only problem was i was getting away to my bedroom um and then the one scoop became a pint and then the pint became a half a gallon now i wasn't taking a half a gallon to my bedroom but I would go by and get a little bowl or a cup or I used to love to hide it in a coffee cup because, you know, if you put ice cream in a coffee cup, nobody has a clue, whatever, yes, they did. No one has a clue what you're doing. Or I would go by and get one spoonful and eat it, go by a little later, one spoonful and eat it, one spoonful and eat it, and I could eat a half a gallon. I could polish off a half a gallon in a couple of hours doing it that way. Um, so don't do that. Don't ever sit down with the whole container all, and always have witnesses. So I was doing this without witnesses. So I still have plenty of few food abuse baggage, but ice cream is one that I've, I've gotten way better at it. So I've gotten way, way better at ice cream. So I wanted to talk about that tonight for our smart swaps. Um, because even without realizing it over the years, I have dis I have um, devised or developed um, some smart swaps you know, a la mode that work well for me. They keep me satisfied. And I think that you will find um, that they get me, you know, they get me and you back to having it, ice cream as a special treat and letting it be a treat without having the feeling of guilt. So that was the biggest thing for me is for years, you know, I, I couldn't put ice cream in my mouth because I felt guilty about it. Well, now I do not because these are the smart swaps that I do. Okay. So let me know if you've done any of these, if you have any smart swap ideas, you know, if you've got any other smart swap ideas for us on, you know, ice cream and ice creamy things, you know, creamy treat things, you know, let us know, go ahead and comment, comment below and let us know, comment here, you know, live and let us know what's going on with you. Okay, so we're, when we're on vacation, specifically Disney, um, I, now I swap out, so, you know, however many years later, I swap out the ridiculous frozen treats that they have at Disney by sharing them. So my swap out is I still enjoy them, but I, instead of eating the whole thing, um, I swap out and I share them with somebody. So I will not buy a Mickey head ice cream unless I'm going to be sharing it with somebody. And I will not buy um, a, a, a Dole Whip, which is my favorite, 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 um, but we share it. So this last time we got Dole Whip and we had three spoons. We had three spoons. And so three of us were eating it. So that's my swap out is that I still have it, but I swap out, um, you know, I swap out the guilt by sharing it with somebody else. Okay. If we get ice cream out, so that doesn't necessarily have to be on vacation, but if we're ever in a situation where we're getting ice cream out, like somebody earlier said they were from Chattanooga. I love to go to Chattanooga. I love to go to Chattanooga and walk around um, and go down to um, to the river. Uh, they have a beautiful uh, river area and there's a Ben and Jerry's down there. So now I swap out for one scoop 
um, occasionally too if we've gotten a lot of steps in, um, but I avoid the places that cram the ice cream down in the giant waffle cone that's as big as your head. And you know which ones I'm talking about, but the giant waffle cone that's this big and they just keep cramming it in and keep cramming it in and keep cramming it in. So I swap out those places for somewhere that I can have one or maybe two, again, maybe two scoops for, depending on how much we've been walking and, and things. Um, and I can be just as happy with the one scoop as I am trying to finish that giant cone, you know, before it melts. So I can be just as happy swapping that out. Um, and another thing, in case you all haven't seen these, so, um, oh, I'm sorry, I swap out the giant spoon that I was using to eat out of the, directly out of the ice cream container. Cause I mean, it was, and I should have, I should have put one out here to show you, but anyway, I, I swap out that giant spoon with an actual ice cream scoop. So an actual ice cream scoop does not have to be expensive. If you sell Pampered Chef, I'm sorry, they have great ice cream scoops, but this kind of ice cream scoop measures exactly a fourth of a cup. So I, sw I swap that out. So instead of that huge spoon, because this would be hard to just eat, you know, straight out of, you kind of need to scoop it and then plop it out, you know, and then use the little thing to plop it out. So that would be hard to scoop it out, you know, and eat it like I was with the giant spoon that I was running by and, you know, getting that for. Also, I don't know if you know, but cake cups, cake cups or cake cones sometimes are called. They're just regular, just the regular little ice cream cones. So this size, if you just use the regular size, um, and I love these, and I love to eat the and I love to eat the whole thing. But if you use this regular size, this is one smart point. So you can see how big this is. This is one smart point for a little cake cup or cake cone. I think some places call them. Um, I got these at Food City here in Knoxville. They also have them at Aldi, um, and at Aldi they are also one point. You can have two of these for one point. But remember it's going to have ice cream in it or it's going to have something in it so just don't get too carried away but one scoop of ice cream i mean i'm not going to put ice cream in this because then i would have to eat it um but one scoop of ice cream see that that's exactly the right size one scoop and this is a fourth of a cup one scoop is exactly the right size for these cones it's a manageable size it's small it's enough to still have you know a good amount of ice cream but you didn't go crazy and you didn't just cram it in there like a, you know you know what places I'm talking about that do that. Okay, so these are only one smart point. Make sure you get the regular size. They do also have like a jumbo, and the jumbo I think is also one smart point, but then it jumps to like three. You don't need the jumbo, okay? This holds one scoop of ice cream. This is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Um, and the sugar cones, if you buy sugar cones and keep them at home, they're two to three smart points. So you could swap out for one smart point and have, you know, a little more ice cream maybe. Okay, so those are cake cones. So I'll swap out for those. Okay, so what we've got going in the air fryer right now, um, another big swap out that I do, and I'll have to show you that when it gets done, but another big swap out that I do with ice cream is, and I just called this hot pie perk. So I don't know about you all, but I love, 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 love hot apple pie with ice cream on it. Absolutely love it. So. I don't know if you've ever bothered to look up hot apple apple pie served at a restaurant um and what what the serving you know a serving of hot apple pie at a restaurant what the points are but it's like 18 to 33 points what 18 to 33 that's more than your day i mean 33 is more than your whole day for a piece of hot apple pie and let's face it it's the first couple of bites that taste the best you know because af after three or four bites then it's just melted ice cream on cold apple pie so it's the first one so I, I swapped this one out by making my air fryer stuffed baked apples that's what's in the that is what is in there right now so we're gonna do that when that comes out we have 11 minutes which is gonna make it perfect to end up on that but that again that recipe is already on if you have an egg.com it's just an apple some nonstick spray some water trivia baking blend and some granola and I've pointed the eat my granola now I have pointed this at one point per tablespoon you know you can use your favorite granola I'm telling you this stuff's stinking good so if you want it message me because we have it at Casey Kitchen Center but that and you can make I'm going to show you how to make that apple pie a la mode um for like it's going to be minimal smart points I mean it's going to be like 
you know, you're going to save like 13 to 27 smart points. You're going to save 13 to 27 smart points. Okay, and I don't know if this is nationwide or if this is just here in the South, but when peaches come in, when peaches come in, we I go crazy. We go crazy. So you South Carolina and Georgia girls, thank you, thank you, thank you for your peaches. So us girls in Tennessee, thank you so much for your peaches. Um, but peaches we go crazy for, and when the blackberries in the summer, when they are wild on the side of the road and you can pull over. So I don't know, do y'all do this in other states? So here in East Tennessee, and I don't even know if they do this like mid-Tennessee over, but we'll take a milk jug, just a, just a plastic milk jug, cut the top of it out and then stop on the side of the road and pick blackberries. Cause you can see them from a mile away. You know where they, where they are, where the blackberries are, but we'll stop and pick black, wild blackberries. Okay. Deborah says, yes. What state are you in Deborah? What state? Cause I need to know if this happens everywhere. And I feel like in Maine, y'all are pulling over on the side of the road with your jugs and you're picking wild blueberries is what I ha it's the vision that I have in my head. But, um, Anyway, so we'll pick blackberries. So one of the places that Karen and I like to, like to walk has like the both sides of the walking trail come June-ish. Okay, Virginia. Yeah, so that makes total sense, Deborah. June-ish. Yeah, and Dixie says they do it in Missouri. So these Southern girls, y'all know, y'all know how good some wild, fresh blackberries are. Um, Whew, and now I'm hungry for some blackberries. But um, yep, and yes, in Arkansas too, Marna says. So, oh, Heidi says they do it in Michigan. So y'all have blackberry bushes in Michigan. Okay, so I want somebody from I want somebody from Massachusetts or like Bo or you know Boston, maybe Massachusetts, like or Maine or somewhere like that to tell me that y'all do that with blueberries too, because oh, that would just be wonderful. Anyway, okay, and Jane says yeah, Oklahoma. So, so fruit cobblers though crazy we go crazy for fruit cobbler so when the peaches come in i will eat fresh peaches until they're literally running out my ears and then start all over again with the blackberries in the summer um making cobbler so if you make and i'm not going to show you how to make a cobbler tonight because we've done that a few you know a few weeks back or a few actually a few months back i think it was this time last year um but you can go to if you have an egg.com and you can do, um, oh, Heidi says blackberries and blueberries. So where are you? What state are you in? Um, but you can go back to if you have an egg.com and search. It is peach. Let me see what it's called. It is called air fryer peach cobbler. And I will show you how to make it. Um, but fresh peaches, fresh blackberries, you know, things like that. Um, I'll show you in that one how to use those to make a lightened up cobbler. And you can make a one person so like a single serving cobbler you don't have to make a whole you don't have to make a whole casserole because I would go through the whole casserole and then adding ice cream to the top of that would just be oh, that would just be you know over the top okay so you can swap out because remember we're talking about swap swap out smart swaps and swapping things out so you can swap out all the heavy butter the cream and you know all that you know heavy 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 things on the air fryer peach cobbler you can swap all of that out and use a scoop of your favorite you know whatever your favorite low point ice cream is you can use a scoop of that and um you can have the same kind of treat and i promise you i promise you the air fryer peach cobbler you've not tasted anything like it i did not make it tonight because i knew i would want it i knew i would want to eat it but you've not tasted anything like that i promise and with a one scoop of ice cream with just a fourth of a scoop of ice a fourth of a cup of ice cream you can be totally satisfied totally satisfied okay and I want to show you one other smart swap thing before we get out. Uh oh, what's Debbie tempting us with? Oh, hold on a second. Hold on, what's Debbie said? Debbie says take big fresh peaches and warm them in the microwave with a little cinnamon and ice cream. Mm, yep, that's pretty much what that cobbler tastes like. Okay, so we have six minutes, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, who likes banana splits? Me. So I think everybody on God's Green Earth, with the exception of Casey Bohannon. She's the only person I know of that does not like bananas. I seriously don't know anyone else who does not like bananas. Um, but and she doesn't even like she doesn't even like a banana split. But every other normal person on the planet likes banana splits, right? Y'all all like banana splits. Okay. The problem with a banana split is if you get one out, it can be 28 to 33 points. Here we go again using all of our smart points on one thing. So Instead, I'm going to show you how to make a smart swap banana split. 
and I usually make it in something fun because we're not going to cut it like just like a normal banana split. So we're not going to take, and these, all my produce has already been washed. Just so y'all know. Oh God, Carol Lou. Carol hates bananas too. Okay. You're going to have to figure out something else to put this on, but oh my gosh. And Kathy doesn't either. Y'all are crazy. You're crazy. Anyway, all my produce has already been washed. So we're going to go ahead and take, so I want to do something pretty. Um, so for this banana split, I try to make it pretty and you don't have to have a fancy anything like this is like a Goodwill or a, like a thrift store glass, but um, okay. Well, Carol, you just don't smell, but anyway, so I like to have, so I like to use something prettier, you know, so that's, you know, a smart swap out is instead of just cramming a banana, you know, in a dish, you can put it in something pretty. So it's a prettier presentation. Um, and that's so weird. So Carol says the smell of bananas make her gag. That's so funny. That is so weird. Okay. And Betty's doctor told her to stay away from bananas. So you all have to pick something else besides bananas. Okay. So I like on my banana splits, I like bananas and I like peanuts. Well, peanuts have too many points. So I'm going to swap out peanuts for any brand of peanut powder. And you're just going to sprinkle that in there. This is two, whoops, this is two tablespoons of any brand of peanut powder. Then um, I'm going to use sugar-free, wherever it is, sugar-free chocolate syrup. So the two tablespoons of any brand of powdered peanut product um, should be one smart point. And I'm going to take two teaspoons or two tablespoons of sugar-free chocolate syrup. And you're just going to kind of drizzle that on there. And then we're going to do some more bananas. So I like peanuts, chocolate syrup, bananas, ice cream, and maraschino cherries. That's what I like on my banana splits. So I'm going to add another layer of the banana. Ooh, and Tag makes hers out of nice cream. That's so yummy. Okay, and then we're going to add some more peanut powder. Some more of the sugar-free chocolate syrup and I should have done and I just accidentally did it on the side I should have done like um, mrs. petal Java does and dressed the inside of my glass and that's mine so I get to lick it I should have dressed the inside of my glass with the um, with the chocolate syrup it's so pretty when she does that okay and then I also like chocolate chips i like um yeah debbie i don't really put vanilla wafers on my in my banana splits um but instead of chocolate chips and more chocolate things you know whatever because i like a lot of chocolate in there i'm going to use enlightened so this is enlightened light and it is brownie and cookie dough and i'm going to use a fourth of a cup of that so remember that's why we need this ice cream scoop oh and i should have gotten it out just a few minutes earlier so we're going to try and get this. This is the only problem with lighter ice creams is you do have to leave them out just a little bit and let them soften up before you eat them. So that also teaches you patience because you have to let them soften up. Okay. And then we're going to plop that right here on top. And if you wanted, come out. If you wanted some, um, Cool Whip, like if you wanted some light, some light whips, you know, some um, light Cool Whip or some light whip topping, you could put that on there too. But now I have this beautiful banana split and this whole thing, I did not use the whip topping, um, but this whole thing is like three to five smart points, depending on how many ice, how much ice cream you put on here. But I forgot the piece de resistance. So I love maraschino cherries on this because i have gotten this part down to three smart points i'm going to put three maraschino cherries on there so three maraschino cherries so one maraschino cherry is zero smart points three i think is one but remember i'm swapping out some things i'm swapping out the fuller fat um, ice cream i'm swapping out peanuts with peanut powder and i'm swapping out um, and mine was Hershey. So Sylvia wanted to know what the brand was of the chocolate syrup. My, it was Hershey brand. Um, I've got Walden Farms in the in here. 
but I haven't tried it yet. But anyway, so I've swapped those things out so that I can have three maraschino cherries. And I'm going to take a little bite for you all if I can get some of the melted ice cream. And I will save the maraschino cherries so that I can get a pretty picture of those after we get done. That is a perfectly swapped, perfectly swapped, perfect, perfect, perfect banana split. Okay, so that banana split, again, is only three to five smart points, depending on how much you use of the other stuff. I think it's a pretty darn smart swap um, instead of 28 to 33. Okay, and then the last thing, because we had to wait on it to cook, and it's just in time, is the apple. Do not, do not fool yourself this is hot okay this is hot 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 so this is at least this little um crock that's in here is 260 degrees please do not let do not let me catch you picking things like this up with your hands okay do not let me catch you doing that so this smells fantastic and i know you can't smell it i wish you could but this smells fantastic, and I'm going to avoid the urge to touch this and show it to you. Here, I'll use my towel. Hold on just a moment. So, yeah, please do not pick this up. Super, super hot. Remember, the baking dish is going to be the same temperature as the air fryer. So, there is the air fryer baked apple. And then what I do with that, and this is Halo Top Blueberry Crumble. So, again, I'm just going to use a half. I'm sorry, I'm going to use a fourth of a cup. So, sorry, I did not rinse out my little scoop, so it's going to have a teeny tiny bit of chocolate on it. And the Halo Top has mel melted much better than the Enlightened straight out of the freezer. But I'm going to get a fourth of a scoop, a fourth of a cup of the Blueberry Crumble. And let me show you what that looks like. So instead of, again, a 33 point, 28 point, 30 point um, apple pie, hot apple pie, this is just as good. So it is an apple, or you can do the peach cobbler um, from ifyouhaveanegg.com. And then you're just going to do a scoop of your favorite ice cream with that. Okay, so we're going to taste test this. You get a little bite of this here. So the air fryer baked apple recipe is on if you have an egg.com. Um, the granola that I used is eat my granola now. And that is available here at Casey Kitchen Center. Let me get a little bite here. And remember, the first bite is always the best one. That's why I love making it this way instead of a, an entire um you know apple like a big piece of apple pie because by the time you get to the end of it first of all it's whatever i said 30 smart points and then it's just melted ice cream and soggy apple pie so this way everything stays fresh the whole the whole way through so let's see what it tastes like mm -hmm. yep yeah, with the blueberry crumble that's delicious also be good with vanilla bean it would be good with the chocolate. It would be good with both of those. So, okay. So, does everybody think, are those some pretty smart swaps? So, is everybody happy with the, with the swaps that we did tonight? Because we are finishing right on time. So, I need to know, show of hands, who's happy? Or comment below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, who's happy with the, with the swaps that we made? And who could be happy with all of this? I mean, this is pretty big. So, all of this for three, what was it? three to five, three points, I think, three to five points, or all of this for like three to five points, and you didn't have to eat, you did not have to eat the entire pint of ice cream. So yeah, I could be happy with that, and I could stop myself with that. So, okay, Hope everybody had a great evening. Thank y'all so much for commenting. Um, it sounds like a lot of people think these are great swaps, and um, we will be back at this next week. Thank y'all for checking on my sister. I will try to keep you updated as the week goes on. I would show you Dusty, but he is snoozing. He had a busy day today, so he is snoozing. But if you were watching this on YouTube, just go ahead and let the next video roll over. 
it's going to be the chat from a couple of weeks ago or it's going to be something that you need to watch for sure from us from if you have an egg um if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and click this little button down here the subscribe button and then click the bell so that you'll know each time that a new video is posted or and or over here you can order things like our aprons and the shirts if you want to over on Spreadshirt. so y'all have a great week loved it again feels like i haven't seen y'all in a couple of weeks and it was just one week missed but welcome welcome to all of our new people i had a great time again y'all have a good evening and i hope y'all don't go to bed dreaming about ice cream so have a good evening and i'll see you next week good night